It's Girl Scout cookie season. Many of us love thin mints or my personal favorite, lemonades. But don't worry, I won't use my three minutes to talk about cookies. Whether you're buying Girl Scout cookies or donating to research hospitals like St. Jude, one thing's the same, and that's the desire to help kids. At the heart of my research is a strong desire to help kids with Duchenne muscular dystrophy, or DMD. DMD is the most common fatal muscular disorder primarily affecting boys. 300,000 boys are affected worldwide. In the US alone, 24,000 boys are affected. That's like half of the students at UCLA. DMD itself is caused by a change in DNA that results in progressive muscle weakness. These kids are typically diagnosed before the age of five and are wheelchair bound by age 12. Since our diaphragm is also muscle, boys with DMD can face respiratory complications. And if left untreated, common infections like pneumonia can have dire consequences for these boys. And this has led to the heart problems that boys with DMD face. Now, heart failure is the number one cause of death of boys in DMD. But all hope is not lost. In order to reduce this frightening statistic, this just means that we need to look at the heart a little bit closer in order to better understand how this disease affects the heart. And my research aims to do just that. And by look a little bit closer, I mean really close. We can do that using magnetic resonance imaging, or MRI. One advantage of MRI is that we can look at the heart from many angles, including the cross section on the right. The dark circular region, that's the muscle that we're interested in looking at. Unfortunately, MRI is not routine in DMD. So by the time that symptoms of heart dysfunction are recognized, it's often a little too late for MRI to be as useful as it could be. We also don't know exactly at what point in time the heart becomes affected in DMD. And that's the specific question that I'm looking to answer with my research. I'm looking to answer this question by analyzing hundreds of MRI images from boys with DMD and healthy volunteers at all ages. I've developed this analysis tool that utilizes color maps in order to look for patterns of muscle damage in the heart. And so far, I've seen that in the healthy heart, the muscle region appears more uniform in color. But for boys with DMD, you see an irregular color pattern indicating where the heart is more affected. These results are really exciting because this tells me that MRI can pinpoint the time the heart becomes affected in DMD. Moreover, this is also exciting because doctors all over the world can use my analysis tool to order MRI exams and look at the disease progression of their patients over time. We can also use MRI to evaluate existing and new drug therapies aimed at helping boys with DMD. I've had a great time telling you all about how my research efforts are on track to helping kids. I hope I've inspired you to help kids in your own way today. Thank you.